My name is Jakub Zgierski. I'm a producer and narrative designer here at Superkami. And I would like to tell you just a little bit about the story and the historical setting of Sengoku Dynasty. So you might know uh, Sengoku uh, Jidai as the Warring States period, time of epic battles, of court intrigue, of Japanese national heroes like Oda Nobunaga or uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. And it's also around that time that many typical aspects of traditional Japanese culture take shape and bloom and are codified, like um, tea ceremonies or ikebana or early forms of haiku. So it's really no wonder that many great works of art explored this period and this topic heavily, including novels of Eiji Yoshikawa or uh, films by Akira Kurosawa. But in Sengoku Dynasty, we decided to shift focus a little bit uh, to peek behind uh, the curtain of these grand heroic epics and to ask ourselves a question. What was life really like back then? Because chances are me and you, we wouldn't be uh, samurai or daimyo living in sprawling palaces. We would be peasants, hard at work at rice fields, or we would be horse carriers, or uh, merchants, or mon monks, or beggars, or pirates, or fishermen, or even so-called non-humans. So the more we delved into this kind of research, reading books like um, Rethinking Japanese History by Amino Yoshihiko, or scavenging through um, Tokyo libraries, the more, the better we understood that there's enormous, enormous potential for storytelling in the realm of an ordinary Japanese village of that time. So early on we decided, we made a crucial uh, decision to not make the player part of the warrior elite. Uh, instead we want him to be uh, an ordinary villager who's struggling under uh, misguided warrior rule uh, and trying to find a better life. Of course such hopes would have been crushed in our, any other time period, uh, but during Sengoku Jidai rules were broken and f gates of social change opened and many peasants uh, took this opportunity, took things into their own hands, they fought along um, monks or lesser landowners um, and even formed self-governing communities that lasted more than a century, uh, with the most notable example of Kagaiki or um, the so-called Peasant Kingdom. And Peasant Kingdom is an extraordinary story, um, or should I say it's a breeding ground for many stories. We will not uh, try to depict uh, specific historical characters or events in the game, but we are surely very inspired by our research um, and we will use it uh, to create a living, breathing world for you to explore um, with many characters from different walks of life, from uh, different social strata, uh, with different attitudes that you can talk to, that you can meet and, uh, and experience the world and use your own hands to really carve out a path for yourself in this world uh, to become someone significant or maybe even change the course of history who knows so thank you for listening um, and see you soon in peasant kingdom <laughs>